Tonight, the big one from the MCG. The Blues take on North from Princes Park. Highlights from VFL Park, Moorabbin and Windy Hill. And Scott Palmer brings us the latest from the rooms in what really has been, I guess, a sensational week of football. First to Princes Park, where North Melbourne journeyed there this afternoon, justifiably with a fair amount of confidence, because last week they'd kept Fitzroy to only one goal on a similar ground. And on that occasion, of course, they ran out winners by more than five goals. Today, they lined up against the new-look Jezzard Blues, fresh from their first up triumph in only, I guess, marginally better conditions at the Sydney Cricket Ground yesterday week. The last time these two sides met, incidentally, 40 goals were kicked in the game, with Carlton victorious by just four points. The safest bet today was the game was going to be won with a tally much less than the Blues winning target, or total of 20 goals, 21 behind. For the Roos, they were just outside the five on percentage prior to today, so certainly they had plenty of incentive. In the commentary box, uh, Drew Morfitz and Don Scotts, and tonight we pick up a replay with some highlights of the first three quarters. So Justin Madden showing the aggression that he showed in Sydney last Friday night. How did Lyle get that far in the clear? Well, maybe Carlton figure he's too far out to score so they didn't bother to pick him up. And it's important now that the team takes the advantage while it's dry and light. Breeze at his back. North with the wind in the first quarter. Lyle from just inside 50. Good kick. So Carlton have paid the price. Blackwell puts it wide to Hannah. Again, nobody on him. Millam Hannah picked during the week for the state squad. To half forward. Comes to the back to Dennis. Snapshot is beautiful. They just combined so well with those bigger fellows. Blackwell in front, Schwass over the back. Nobody can control it. Bryce quickly on to kick it. Kick it onto the left foot. Borks then tries to set up the running play. Spargo short, not 10 yards. Plays on quickly, McCarthy. Back to Spargo and towards centre half forward. It's McCarthy again, a nice handball. Open goal, Phil Cracker. Will he kick it? Open goal, North second, Phil Cracker's first. And he'll be looking for Kernahan up near centre half forward. Kernahan on Martin. Comes to uh, Gleeson, and Gleeson kicks the goal. Madden and Lyle, bit of an arm wrestle. Comes to Romero, good hand pass off to Spargo. This is good stuff. Dwyer gathers. Goes inside 50, beats Dean, goes for goal, and kicks it. He's kicking from the 50 metre line, but look at him, trying to pick those feet up. Oh, what a kick. Had distance. Oh, kick it. A mark. Plays on, goes for goal, and kicks a magnificent goal. I think Drew used the right word there. Magnificent goal to Derek kick it, but at three-quarter time, Carlton leading 5-8-38 to 4-9-33. Only five points in it at Princes Park. As we go back to that location now, we pick up play at the start of the final quarter. Our commentators, Drew Morfitt and Don Scott. The game up for grabs at the start of the last quarter with Carlton leading by just five points. They led at every change. They do have the breeze in this last quarter. German for North Melbourne. And the umpire's going to have to throw it up again. A brand new football is already second hand. by Ian Clayton. Madden wins a good knock. Bradley in underneath the pack. And the umpire will have to ball it up once more. Carlton led by two points at quarter time, 13 points at half time, and by five points at three quarter time. Madden again, Johnston. But Larkin takes it off him. And the umpire is going to have his fourth throw up to start this final term. Been worked pretty well over time. Ian Clayton and Mike Ball. A low-scoring game in the conditions. And North Melbourne certainly can't be written off yet. Here's Buckley, but can't get boot to ball. Herman can. High to centre-half 